Assalamu alaikum welcome to the digital learning of prep 1 grammar the topic is relative pronoun that is the last week of february let's have a look of the given sentences number 1 the woman who was shouting was angry number 2 the garden which was small looks spacious number 3 the car that drove right past me was red Number 3 The girls whose brother is in my class is nice. Number 4 The man whom I sent a letter will help me. Number 5 What she told me is not true. All the underlined words are relative pronoun. Here's a list of relative pronouns. Let's find out the use of these. Which is used for animal and thing who is used for person where is used for place that is used for animal thing and people whom is used for person but particularly for object whose is used for the position of who what is used when there is no antecedent further explanation are given in the next slides relative pronouns refer to a noun let's have an example i know the artist who made this painting here who is a relative pronoun and artist is a noun relative pronouns also refer to a pronoun example she can tell me nothing that will change my mind here that is a relative pronoun and nothing is a pronoun the word a relative pronoun refers to is called the antecedent let's have an example of this there was a student who was quite clever who is a relative pronoun here and a student is an antecedent the part of the sentence that contains relative pronoun is relative clause See this example there was a man who was quite clever the underlined part of a sentence is starting with relative pronoun who so it is called the relative clause the second sentence is she told us to leave which was a shock the underlined part of a sentence is starting with which that is a relative pronoun So this part of a sentence will be called relative clause. Here you will find for the explanation of the mentioned relative pronouns. Number one is who. The antecedent of who is a person. Here are examples. Number one, her cousin who is five is learning to speak English. Who is referring cousin? That is a person. Number two. my neighbors who are old complain a lot here who is referring neighbors the antecedent which the antecedent of which is not a person here is an example the bike which is forgot to lock was stolen which is referring bike which is a thing and the example is she asked for my help which i found charming which is here referring help this is also not a person that that has two relative clauses non restrictive and restrictive in the non restrictive relative clause we get information that cannot be omitted for example my uncle bob who is a butcher has a cat who is a butcher the under, these underlined words is showing the additional information about uncle bob so we can write it without this information like my uncle bob has a cat that in the restrictive relative clause of that we get information that cannot be omitted or left out for example the people who live there are lovely If you write the people are lovely are you getting who people you are talking about so who live there 
this part of a relative clause is giving you information that is required another example is this is a house which is very old if you say this is a house are you getting which house you are talking about so which is very old it is giving you information that is needed that in the restrictive relative clause you can use that in place of who and which example is the people who live here are lovely you can write it like the people that live here are lovely so here in place of who i have replaced that that in the non restrictive relative clause cannot be placed with who and which here is an example my uncle bob that is a butcher has a cat we cannot use that in place of who here this is a grammatical mistake whom it shows the ownership of who example is the student whose bike was red laughed at me the underlined whose is showing the ownership of the student whom it is a formal use of who in restrictive clause only for example the doctor whom i told you about is friendly we are using here whom in place of who what we use it when there is no antecedent for example what you did is unique we are using what for unknown antecedent the next example is when she sees what you have made she will be speechless we are using what for the thing which has been made but not mentioned here is a practice task for you dear students which you are going to do in your notebook keep the rules in your mind while doing it question number 1 fill in the blanks with the correct relative pronoun number 1 i talked to a girl dash car had broken down in the front shop number 2 mrs richard dash is a florist lived in england number 3 I lived in a house dash is in East India. Number 4. The boy dash arrived at the airport is Paul. Number 5. The children dash were shouting in the streets are not from our school. Number 6. The man dash father is a professor forgot his umbrella. Number 7. The car dash driver is a young man is from Ireland. Number 8. What did you do with the money dash you borrow? Dear students, we have another practice task for you in which you are going to use who or which only and do it in your notebook. Now number 1, the shoes dash I bought are red. Number 2, can you pass me the book? dash is on the shelf number 3 isn't she the little girl dash we saw in the shop number 4 what is the name of your teacher dash teaches history number 5 andrew is riding the bike dash he bought last week number 6 have you watched all the movies dash i recommended here is practice task 3 The students you are going to find out the relative pronouns in the given sentences and then write the correct one in place of it number 1 people who live in glass house must not throw a stone number 2 where is the book whose i have left here yesterday number 3 napoleon which the french admired was a great journal Number 5 the crow dropped the piece of cheese who the fox snapped up immediately Number 6 last year we visited the leaning tom which is a supervisor Number 7 it was a wretched hut in who he lives good luck